Well, hello and welcome to a new video. Today, we're gonna have a quick little chatty get ready with me. So let's just jump right into it. I hate this angle, by the way. I still have to reorganize everything. I'm just, I, I'm not liking what's going on right now, but bear with me. Um, I'm gonna use a bunch of stuff that I have recently purchased at Sephora. Surprise, surprise. I just got back from a short and sweet vacation in the south of France and I picked up a few things, including this, which I'm so, so, so happy about. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail as to what I'm using on my face. I'm just, as usual, I'm gonna link everything down below. So let's just get started. So, um, yeah, I haven't filmed anything in over a week, so again, I might be a little rusty, um, but, you know, I think this is gonna be okay. I'm actually thinking about filming videos in French. Uh, French is my first language. Um, I was an English teacher, so I'm comfortable speaking in English, but still, there's times where I feel like I, it's difficult, like it's, it's going to be when you're speaking in a language that's not your first language, no matter how well versed you are in that language there's still going to be times where you have to look for a word or you can't find the right way to express an idea or you have trouble pronouncing a word and you have to go back at it several times and it's just sometimes i feel like it's just making the editing a bit more complicated for me and there's also the fact that um i'm just shaking <laughs> the eavesdrop. There's also the fact that most people I know nowadays are Belgian, so they speak French as well. And so I know my friends, for instance, are not watching my videos because first of all, they have no interest in makeup. And second of all, they don't understand what I'm saying anyway. So I have barely no views on most of my videos, uh, which it's a, it's something I'm okay with. Like the point is not necessarily to have thousands of views and make a big buck, like it's not. Otherwise I would do things differently. But still, I feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot. Is it a saying in English? I'm not sure, but whatever. Uh, because yeah my 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 friends and family even if they wanted to support me like they just they couldn't my mom does watch my videos hi mom um but she just she lets the computer like run its course and she's not watching because again she doesn't understand a single word when it comes to my friends i like to think that even if they don't have that big of an interest for makeup, like they would still watch it if it was in French. Um, I don't know. I really don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know if this is something I really want to do. Um, most of the videos I watch about makeup are in English. I find that the ones that are in French are a bit cringy at times. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I don't want to change my course of action with in mind the idea of, oh, that way maybe you will be able to reach out to more people and your channel will be more successful because the point of me starting this was not to have it be anything else than something for me and my own pleasure and my hobby. So I, I, I don't want to lose that and I don't want to make decisions based on, oh, now I want to turn this into something. But at the same time, like maybe I do, you know, maybe it's time that I 
put myself 100% into this and, and make it a point to upload every day and post on Insta every day and make reels because even if it's not a format that I'm super comfortable with, it's a thing that works and that's going to attract some attention to my channel. I, I don't know. I'm really still kind of on the fence. So I'm thinking what I might do is refilm a video in French that I did already in English, like um, an eyeshadow palette tag, for instance, something like that, something where I can like kind of just talk about makeup for fun and yeah, just do it in French and see how that goes, you know, but um, yeah, we will see. So like I said, I just got back from... A short little vacation. I have a friend actually who lives in the south of France and so I just stayed at her place for like a week um, and I did this. This little guy is my new best friend. Um, he doesn't have a name but he's there. I love him. I already have a tattoo, a Chinese symbol on my lower back, which I know very original. I got it when I was 18, um, on vacation <laughs> again in the south of France. Uh, it's supposed to mean seventh heaven, paradise, something like that. Uh, who knows? I mean, it might as well mean soup. Um, but I don't really care. I mean, it's still something that symbolizes freedom to me and, and you know, the fact that I have just become an adult uh so i don't mind it's not something i ever regretted but i also wanted to get another one that would be a lot more meaningful and so that's what that is um as the snake symbolizes renewal constant renewal uh and rebirth and having to shed your past and your skin in order in order to become something new you know and it's something that i feel like it fits me perfectly um so yeah i decided to do it it honestly it didn't really hurt which i was surprised because i remember that in my lower back it did hurt quite a bit um but I mean maybe it was me being younger and having you know not taking pain as well as I do now I don't know I'm guessing it also has to do with the part of the body where I got it but um yeah it wasn't really painful at all so that was good um it's still healing so there's a bit of a crust there going on but I think it's healing well we'll see I also got a cream bronzer from Fenty um yeah I feel like I needed new bronzers uh because I have less bronzers and blushes and highlighters so you get my logic here just whatever I can do to get new makeup I must say I really really like it I feel like it's very beginner friendly so yeah because i got this um snake tattoo i also got a ring i also got earrings i got a t-shirt like that's it I'm, I'm all about snakes right now for some reason um so yeah that's what happened on vacation that's pretty much it um i mean we just relaxed uh, spend some time together because we hadn't seen each other in a while and then that's it I got back um, yesterday and felt like filming a little get ready with me and then later today I think I'm gonna film a will I buy it because I haven't filmed one of these in a very very long time um, and I'm thinking of doing it in a tinder kind of a way where I'm just gonna go very quickly through each you know new release and do like swipe left or right without going into too many details as to why I think it's a good or a bad idea 
So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna do that, but we'll see. I have to take my mom's tablet, so I need to make sure that she doesn't need it today. Um, if she does, it's fine. I'll just film something else. Um, I'm also, today, I'm going back into working out. I really need to and dieting because, you know, I was on vacation and I knew I was going to start up again with a diet when I would get back. So I was just kind of like, okay, I'm going to um, eat everything I can. We had a bunch of ice creams, I ate chips and cheese, oh my gosh, so much cheese. Um, so yeah, now it's back into it 100% where I'm really, really going to be super careful with what I eat and I'm going to work out. Um, I'm going to go for a walk as well. Um, it might rain today, but not all day, so... Hopefully I will find some time during the day where it's not raining and I can go for like an hour walk um, just to, you know, get my heart pumping. Oh, also, if you see this, please don't mention it. Stupid mask has me making crazy pimples. Like this is a cystic something like I don't know it's under my skin and funny thing when I went to Bulgaria in July I had one in the exact same spot it had started to heal somewhat and then boom another one at the exact same place it's honestly I don't know why I'm even trying to cover it up because even if you can't see the color of it. It's so big, like you you can see it. It's huge, it's under my skin. There's nothing I can do. I just have to wait, I guess, for it to go away. Hating this. This week, I'm also planning on finally, finally reorganizing, rearranging my whole makeup area um I changed my desk I showed it in a vlog I believe so yeah I changed um the way my desk was placed um which is why now I have a different background but I don't know I don't know how I feel about it we'll see uh but yeah I need to reorganize um my drawers basically I am, of course, going to film the process, but I don't really know how to go about it because, hmm, okay, it's not going to be a declutter, that's for sure. I cannot do a declutter, I cannot throw away makeup. Maybe as I go through my stuff, there's a couple of things here and there that I'm going to have to throw out because I will realize it's really not good anymore or whatever other reason there may be. But this is not going to be a declutter where I get rid of like a quarter of my makeup. Like, no, this is not what this is going to be. I love watching declutters. I cannot do one for the life of me. So I'm thinking of maybe filming it kind of vlog style. Um, so me going through it and speed up the whole thing. Um while sometimes I stop and speak and explain what I do, uh, how I rearrange stuff, um, or should I just wait for it all to be over and then film a whole collection and organization? Should I do both? I don't know. The thing that kind of stresses me out a little bit, if I can use that term, is that you know the deal. I'm filming with my phone, I'm editing with my phone, and I'm, I, I'm doing my whole life is on my phone. And so um, it's going to take a very long time for me to do all of it. So I feel like I'm going to have to be super careful as to how much I film all at once. And then make sure I have enough space on my phone to edit and save the 
edited file. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how to do it. Also, like I said, it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna need to listen to some music or watch some videos or just do something. Um, and so if I do that, I cannot film myself doing it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna film this. I, I just, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have to be 100% focused on what I'm doing. And if I'm filming at the same time, I might not get there, if that makes sense. But yeah, I should really, start this process um it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time but I knew that once I started I was going to have to finish it because there's gonna be stuff everywhere like this is my bedroom you know I don't only film here I sleep here I do quite a bunch of things in here so I cannot really start reorganizing my makeup and then have it be all around the room for two weeks. You know what I mean? It's something that I'm going to have to do in a couple of days and, you know, be quick. The combo of the Ease Drop by Fenty and my Dior Powder No Powder, it's like, I'm a whole new person except for this. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot going on this week, um, both in terms of filming content, posting on Instagram, filming reels and all of that, and rearranging all my makeup and getting back into a healthy routine hopefully I'm not biting more than what I can chew because it is something that I, I do sometimes um I just want to do it all at once and I want everything to be perfect and I just end up being overwhelmed and not being able to really do the things I wanted to do and then I crumble because it's like oh I didn't do it I'm I'm I suck like whatever I can never do anything right and then yeah, everything falls apart. I feel like I'm at a point in my relationship with myself, my knowledge of myself and my energy and my feelings, that this is not going to happen to me anymore. I'm going to be able to, first of all, know my, my limits and know that, no, I don't think. I'm actually doing too much. I feel like I'm ready to take on these specific tasks. And um, and also if for whatever reason I'm feeling overwhelmed at one point, I know, I trust that I'm going to be able to take a step back, analyze the situation, see what I can do to not be so overwhelmed and just be like, okay, I need to drop something. I need to change my plan and not do as much as I first thought I would and it's still going to be okay. And I'm still, you know, doing the best that I can and I don't need to beat myself over not working out for two days straight. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I'm, I'm very much confident right now in the fact that I'm going to be able to do it all right now. Um, the couple of vacations I took, um, within the last month really showed me that I was ready and willing to get this show on the road, you know, and really have a nice healthy routine and take care of myself and lose the weight that I want to lose. And there's been times, honestly, where I was on vacation enjoying it having fun being grateful and all of that but at the same time I was like you know what I almost cannot wait to be home where I can go back to a routine that I set up for myself and really start going strong you know so 
that's it. Here we are today. I'm at this point where now I get to put all of these ideas I have into practice and really get it going. I was a little bit stressed today um, this morning when I woke up and when I thought, oh God, I hope I, hope I get a, a peak of energy at some point during the day where I actually feel like I can work out. I know that no matter what, the first few days are gonna be rough because I haven't worked out in a while. And so I'm, you know, it's gonna hurt a little bit and it's going to be, I'm gonna have to push myself to be like, okay, go get dressed, go work out. Uh, but I also don't want it to be a chore. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be something that I have to force myself to do. I might need a little push, which is okay, but I don't want to feel like, oh my God, I hate this. I have no energy, no motivation, no nothing. Like, I don't want it to be like that, you know? So yeah, I was a little stressed this morning thinking of, oh my God, I have to start working out again today. What if I'm, I'm tired for some reason? Um, so yeah, I was a bit worried, but I'm not anymore because now I'm like, that's it, the day has begun, I'm already filming, um, I already have a vague idea of how my day is going to go on and at what time I'm going to work out, uh, at what time I'm going to shower, all of these boring stuff. I'm also back um, on taking vitamin C in the morning because I was feeling like I was not in the best um, shape energy wise. And so now I'm taking vitamin C and I'm already having the placebo effect of like, okay, that's it. It's a Monday, you're taking vitamins. It's a new day, it's a new week, it's a new start for a new life. I'm like, I'm very, I'm very positive today. Yeah, which, you know, for someone who just got back from a vacation, you might think, oh, it sucks. I mean, it's raining, it's the weather is crap, but I'm actually quite happy. So I'm going to work on my eyes off camera and I will be right back. Okay, done. I filmed um, a few clips. I'm guessing I'm going to do a reel about this eye look, but who knows? I'm just going to spray my face. I bought the Professional Super Setter because of Tati, of course, who else? I don't love the smell, but I do enjoy the mist. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at that for this get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and since it's free, why wouldn't you? And I will see you guys next time. Bye.